today we've come to Umber Bridge here in Umberside. We're going to see what Umber Bridge is all about. I'm Colin the Head. This is Colin the Head's World of Everything. Right, so the bridge itself is 2,200 metres long. The idea for the bridge was actually conceived in the 1930s, but the actual construction of the bridge did not actually even start till 1971. And in 1981, the bridge itself was opened by the Queen. When constructed, it was the longest single span suspension bridge in the world. So it actually took 10 years to actually construct. So for the whole Humber Bridge project, it took a whole entire 50 years from start to finish. On an average, 120,000 vehicles a week will use the single span suspension bridge here in Umberside. We just stood at the foot of the bridge. This is where the Umber Bridge starts. This is where the physical single span suspension bridge starts that crosses the River Umber. And this is the mountain point behind me. You can look behind me. This is solid steel. Solid steel suspension bridge. And it's mounted behind me to this mountain point. Obviously, that mountain point is connected to the actual counterbalance weights behind me. These counterbalance weights and these, this mountain point and this solid steel behind me here is actually supporting the Umber Bridge. It's actually supporting the carriageway. And if you look behind me, we'll just, we'll just walk over here. Solid steel tube is actually connected to these mounting points and it's solid I can just swing on it like that and it just won't move and these are actually supporting the actual bridge itself so this is the start of the Umber Bridge and that configuration is mirrored all the way across the bridge obviously it goes up, up to the first tower behind me and these metal rods steel rods should I say are supporting the actual carriageway and it's all suspended it's all suspended. We're going to have a walk over it now and see what else Umber Bridge got to offer us. Nice view, isn't it? Lovely view. We're just stood here in the middle of Umber Bridge. So this is the centre of the single span suspension bridge. That is the Umber Bridge. And we're just here. And I mean, if you just take a look at how high we are, I mean, it's got to be 100 foot above above actual Umber Estuary itself. Yo, it's pretty high. And how does this does this structure just stay here in all wind? Because when it gets windy, I mean, there's no wind. But I can imagine being up here in a, in a Force 10 gale. I mean, and all this metal, concrete, road, it just stays here suspended by the two massive solid steel ropes if you want to call them the actual whole bridge totally relies on them two solid steel ropes well they're not even ropes it's solid steel and obviously you can see these guide ropes that come down that support the actual carriageway that's the only thing that actually keeps this bridge intact is the simple fact that its weight obviously the weight of the carriageway is pulling against the high intensity cables above my head and obviously all the weight's being transferred into that tower behind me and then down to ground so the whole structure is suspended it's a single span suspension bridge and we're stood in the middle of it here at Umberside Umber Bridge has got a lot to offer it's not, it's not just a bridge it's a tourist attraction you can walk across it for absolutely nothing it and cost us a thing to walk across this bridge it's also got a visitor's center a large car park and if you've never visited the umber bridge before it's worth a day out it is actually a day out for the tourist it's not just a road bridge there's a lot more to umber bridge than what you actually think before this bridge were actually constructed for actual the residents of Hull to cross the actual umber they had two options they either went down the m62 down M18 and back up M180 or there were actually a ferry, an actual car ferry before the actual construction at bridge and the only way to actually get across the actual River Umber at this point was to use the car ferry so before they actually built the Umber Bridge if you wanted to go from Hull to Scunthorpe you had to use car ferry so building this bridge was a vital thing, it was a vital artery across Umber Estuary well, I'm just stood here on Umber Bridge and I see some, some, of, my, some of my fans down there. I'm just going to give him a shout. Hello! Hello, I'm Colin the Head from Colin the Head World of Everything. I'm waving at you. 
I'm calling the head for hello mate! Calling the head fan! It's absolutely awesome! So we've just we've just stood here at North Side at North Tower and we just looked back over at bridge and can actually see the actual shape of carriageway how it actually arches over the actual lumber estuary. And in the distance there you can see the South Tower and obviously you can see the suspension bridge, but look how it just like leaps of it under estuary, the actual Umber Bridge itself leaps of it under estuary. But just here, this is North Tower or Umber Bridge. This is North Tower. So this tower here is like keeping our Umber Bridge up, obviously. And you can see it's a very high tower. Something else we've found here is that we found this plaque on North Tower. No, this triangular plaque. And it actually says the Civic Trust Award, 1982. Now the bridge itself was opened in 1981. So a year after the bridge actually opening, the Umber Bridge got the Civic Trust Award. And there's a plaque on North Bridge, on North Tower at Umber Bridge, actually commemorating the actual award that was given to this colossal structure that exists here in Umberside that crosses the River Umber Estuary. Fan this, actually. We just fan this. And uh, obviously it's got wheels on it. Looks like something out of a theme park or something. Um, but it's not. What it is, it's, it's, it's a gantry. And it's actually in the maintenance gantry so obviously the underneath at bridge needs maintenance all bridges need maintenance and obviously something as big as umber bridge will need a lot of maintenance so this here inside of me this cage is a maintenance gantry and obviously it's got wheels so this will move all the way along under the carriage at bridge if you, if you look if you look below if you look our wheels are actually mounted to the side of the bridge, so all that will move. So obviously people will be on, underneath doing maintenance work, and this is how they maintain the Umber Bridge with the use of these maintenance gantries. And obviously they move backwards and forwards, and it'll be mirrored, and we want the other side of the bridge as well. And it'll be solely for maintenance purposes. So that's how they maintain the Umber Bridge the underneath of the carriageway with the use of these gantries. So behind me, as you know, the Umber Bridge is a toll bridge. You've got to pay a toll to go over Umber Bridge. Now behind me here, if you see this like a fair, these are the toll booths. Now if you're coming onto the bridge from the south side, right, you'll find that there's no toll booth and there's nowhere to park. So you just railroad onto Umber Bridge. You haven't got a choice. You're on this dual carriageway that's going over Umber Bridge, right? So, so there's nowhere to park, you can't stop, right? So once you've gone over Umber Bridge, right? And you get to them toll booths and you've got no money, right? You've already gone over the bridge, they're having your money. You're railroaded, you, you haven't got a choice. You've got to pay the toll and no one is allowed to drive over this bridge if they've not paid the toll. Now this is what happens if you haven't paid your toll. So you're driving over Umber Bridge, right? And you've got no money and you can't pay your toll. So obviously the people who run Umber Bridge need some sort of payment off you. So what they do, they have you, they have you washing dishes in Umber Bridge Visitor Centre, which is just behind me down that hill. And you've got to do a full shift in there to earn your toll. £1.50 a day. My advice is calling the top tip if you're coming to Umber Bridge and you want to drive over it, make sure you've got £1.50 to, to do one trip. You can look at these massive concrete blocks behind me, okay? Anyone would just think, oh god, it's just a concrete block. But no, they're not. They're actually counterbalance weights. Now these concrete stone blocks, stanchions, call them whatever you want, okay? But these are counteracting the weight for the suspension bridge. So obviously, the high tensile cables and the Umber Bridge is actually supporting the road are using this concrete as part of the counterbalance. So these are holding bridge up really in a sense, these are a really important part of the Umber Bridge construction. We just stood underneath the carriageway here and you can see how, how the actual carriageway is supported. Now this is the run up to the bridge. Obviously that concrete structure you can see at the back with the lights on, that's the counterbalance weight that I've mentioned earlier in the show. That's, that's the counterbalance that supports the, third, the start of the actual suspension bridge. Now this is just the run up to the suspension bridge and obviously you can see these concrete stanchions that are supporting the actual carriageway and there's three in total so there's three six there's nine actual concrete supports that support the actual carriageway on the run up to the counterbalance it's just absolutely colossal and actual engineering that went into building this you know it took it took 10 years to build this bridge you know it's a feat in engineering and it's right here in Umberside 
and anyone can walk over it for now. Like I said earlier, the Umber Bridge has actually got a tourist visitor centre. So it's, it's not just a, a road bridge, it's actually a tourist attraction. Now behind me, as you can see, that is the Humber Bridge Tourist Information Centre. And there's a guy in there called Simon, right? Now Simon's job is, is when you don't pay your toll to go over Humber Bridge, right, and them at toll booths up there, right, they'll ring Simon up in Tourist Information Centre, so we've got a non-payer here, we've got a non-payer, right, and it's Simon's job to allocate your task for not paying the actual toll on the Umber Bridge. So your punishment for not paying the toll on the Umber Bridge is to do the dishes in the Umber Bridge Visitor Centre. So if you don't pay your toll, whether it's open or not, they've always got dishes and that. And this is where you come, this is actually punishment and that's all down to Simon in the Umber Bridge Tourist Information Centre. Now if you look just over my shoulder in the, in the Umber Bridge Tourist Information Centre, we can see Simon. That is Simon. An easy charge at Umber Bridge is his, his, his job, right? For all non payers, he, he, he allocates the jobs. That's just Simon, you know, in charge at Tourist Information Centre here at the Umber Bridge. Calling the edge, world of everything.